Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, me move six of the smoke room. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on itch.io. But if you want to support the people that make this game and or get the newest version earlier, then you can go to their Patreon, where it's $3 a month for this and other games. So, on the last Let's Play, we found uh, bodies of pack mules and stuff that were slaughtered. And then the Reverend put a bar of soup in the bear's mouth, at which point we chose not to interfere because we didn't want to just, you know, it, I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess it was lie stuff. And it's actually, it, but it doesn't really matter because like he puts in his mouth either way. But um, yeah, the reverend threw us in the shed where we pretty much dehydrated for a while. And then he talked down to us for a little bit and was attacked by something. And then um, Avery came along and went, Oh, hey, you look very injured, but you killed my sister with that soup thing. I'm going to go now. Bye. And then uh, Sam and Murdoch found us. But also the Reverend uh, disappeared while we were dehydrating. It do be like that sometimes. So let's just set our face. And begin. I sit up on, in the bed. A damp rag falls off my head, and some of the water in the mug spills on my chest. Murdoch is stirring something into a large barrel, and Sam gives me a, wi a withering look, holding the mug of water that's just lost some of its contents. What's going on? I'm thankful that my voice is back. We're drawing you a bath. Because you stink. I want to say there's no time to bathe, because Cadwell's dead, and there's no telling who else could be next. Is he dead? He, they just said he disappeared. I mean, he could be dead. I try to protest as Sam lifts me under my arms, shakes his head, and whistles at, as Murdoch forms, uh, forms suds with a rag and a piece of, piece of the nice soap. Uh, with oats in it from my family store from it from his family store I can read is this necessary if we don't want the whole room to smell like weasel ain't any mint perfume gonna cover that we need pure fine soap unhand me you could have died from heat exposure today cliff just let us do something nice for you they take turns scrubbing my arms aggressively, then my chest, then my neck. This can hardly be considered nice. Murdoch paws all over my face, rubbing mint-scented oil into my whiskers and cheeks, smooshing them with abandon. Sam pours a bucket over my head without warning, and I'm left in place, breathing. Are you finished? They both nod. Okay. Please, listen carefully. I think that the animal who hunted us in the camp in the woods is still stalking us. Oh, I know. Got my leg. Just your leg? You sound disappointed. More like imp impressed, really. It, um... I struggle with whether or not I want to tell them or not. But I struggle more to hold on to... Yeah, to hold this in. He got the reverend. Oh god. He's really dead? I didn't see him die explicitly. But somehow, I know. He's really dead. You can't claim that. There's, there's a high chance he might be dead, but you can't say for sure. It didn't try to attack you? Somehow, it didn't even try to break into the shack. It might not have, not have noticed me. Hard not to. You really reeked. My cheeks start to feel hot from embarrassment. Can you stop talking about that? I step out of the tub and hold my arms out to dry. Sam and Murdoch start to pat me down. I growl to get them to step back. 
but they both just start to laugh. That's, uh, that's what it sounds like when a stoat growls. Sam, be nice. But I can hear that he's on the verge of cracking up too. I thought he had found a helium tank to suck on. I won't scream at them. Let me dress myself. They both step back. I'm irritated that... I'm irritated that they bow. By the time I manage to slip into my pants, I hear a knock on the door. Hello? Just a moment. I slip into my shirt as quickly as possible. I'm gonna let him in now. My tie isn't even on. Impatiently, the fox pulls the door open. Jem shuffles in, then stops. He looks from... He looks from the blusters on... He looks from the blisters on my hand to wrap on to the wrap on Sam's foot. Ah. How are y'all getting more injured in the settlement than in the journey? Well, that was a rhetorical question. Anyways, I just wanted to bring the news as fast as I heard it. Some of the natives are saying they got the beast that was hunting us in, on the road. That thing that was following us? Yep. Turns out, it was just a wild hog. A big, old, territorial hog. And how do you know that? Jeb sends me a look. Cause they found it goring the reverend on the road last night. The same way it was getting all the other animals. Huh. As soon as he says that, I feel the blood drain from my face. I want to see it. You sure about that? You might be a bit sensitive for a carnage like that done to a person. No, I'm quite sure. Show me. Murdoch grabs his camera. I want to be sure too. The only person who isn't moving uh, much is Sam. I'll catch up with the, no wait, I'll catch up with y'all. I just want to manage some things. Don't take too long. We won't be going far down the road. I wait until the other two leave the room, and then walk up to Sam. I bend down to sneak him a kiss. He looks surprised. What was that for? It's just my way of saying thank you. More than ever. He scratches the back of his head bashfully, and shoes me away with his paw. Go on, and get. Go on, get. Like I said, I just need some time. It won't, it won't be long. I nod, blushing, and open the door. Not much feeling the blisters on my hands right now. Not much feeling the blisters on my hands. We are Sam now. There's no goddamn way that thing was a wild hog. Hogs are something you can see. They don't go invisible all of a sudden. Or look like monsters in photographs. Whatever it is out there has to be at whatever it whatever is out there has to be out there. Once I'm outside, it's not very hard to see where I need to go. I follow a group of people arranged in a small circle in the middle of the road. What's ahead is one of the strangest th sights I've seen on my journey yet. The bear, Yiska, is sitting on top of what I first thought was an old sequoia tree stump, but the, the closer I look, the bark becomes hair and skin. He's chatting with others in the Masetta language. Although it sounds like he has a slight lisp, he hasn't had before, as if he had his tongue as if he had a tongue injury. He's holding on to a spear in his left hand that's punctured beneath the jaw of the great pig, and Sela is sitting next to him comfortable. There is also a tablecloth, soaked in red, over a patch which I assume must be the reverend. I am starting to wonder whether or not we had to run into the forest, uh, where we had run into the forest, or is really a big, old, pissed off hawk. As Cliff suspected, maybe we were hallucinating due to the natural gases. As I thought about this, I noticed something strange. I don't see any guards around. 
just our travel group and Maseta townsfolk. But before I can react to this, something else sneaks up on me. It's the sound of a car. And it's pulling up behind me. I turn around to look. It stops. Two people come out of the car. The first I recognize immediately. It's James Hendricks. But the other I can't make out. Until I hear him. Now, just what the hell is going on exactly? Oh, it's William. Will walks up to the group, but then stops his tracks when he sees me. And just what the hell are you doing here? To be continued. What? Huh. It do be like that sometimes. That's the problem with doing some of these uh, Let's Plays where it's like, well, how much time do we got? But I thought we had more. Because, I mean, look at this. This, this, this. I thought we were on Chapter 3. What's the latest update? You... No. Did you take the map? No. Did you take the map again? No. Do you follow Cliff and Murdoch to the abandoned cabin? Follow inside. Sleep with Murdoch in the hot springs. Did you, as Cliff, did you choose to keep doing intimate things with Murdoch? Yes. As Cliff, what do you bring up to you? I think that was the one. Okay, so this just brings us to here. Spooky. That's one thing I, that does kind of creep me out in this game is those little hidden things like when William was being angry at Cliff and Cliff was like, <gasps> I mean, no, that was me. And then Cliff was like, when William was fine with Cliff, and then there was the shadow thing behind him. It was early on. I'm not sure what to do. Do you just continue on with the next one? Because here's the plan. It's first... Well, first is going is William, which, you know, we did do. Then Cliff. And I was kind of thinking of Nikolai, but then my friend was like, Hey, you should um do Murdoch's next. They also said that... um. Nikolai has a lot of death states, I guess. I thought there was a lot more content. But like, what is the difference between previous update and last up latest update? I don't know. Well. Hmm. It is kind of the thing where I'm like, do you want to do the thing or not? Yeah, let's start it. So yeah. Just gonna do, let's see. Type tech speeds, it's under between P and E. Okay, maybe not that fast. But yeah. I do this so that people would, would, it's kind of like a recap. But yeah, I guess we could do it a bit faster than that. Yeah, let's just do a restart again. Main menu. I do. So yeah, he's like, eh, I want to get out of this town. It sucks. Maybe put it a little bit faster. At which point he's about to sneak out of town with his, what, three golden coins? Because he managed to, uh, somebody he met recently 
and taught him some things is like, hey, you should bring your gold and come with me to this abandoned mine. And then there's Cynthia. I love her. There needs to be more Cynthia. I was about to say Cynthia board. I'm, I'm a hoe. But yeah, Cynthia. And what's Jenna? All this stuff is going on. I guess I'll just check out E621. What is it? Cynthia. The? There's four things here. I mean, yeah, it's because it's a girl in a game about gay guys, but still. There's a, like, reference sheet, some of these little picture drawn, somebody who... Mm, this is going to be a little bit of a slight, unfortunately, but it looks like they've drawn it in MS Paint. I mean, it's good for MS Paint, at least. Um, who are those guys over there? It looks spooky. But yeah, I like Jenna. You gotta mute that thing so I can actually look at stuff. What is this, anyways? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out in a bit. Between the last play things. What was the other thing? Echo? But yeah, as you can tell, you're the person that said, hey, get all your money and come with me is like, oh, yeah, I'm stealing your I'm stealing from you because I'm a terrible person. Because they are they don't do be like that. Sometimes. Yeah, there's a bit there's more of Jenna. Oh, and I think. So yeah, he hits you in the back of the head with a shovel, and now, and then you're gonna be fighting with him, or I will, and then put a, fuck, what is it? A pickaxe to his head, the light goes out, there's something in these mines! And then you get out. Or we get out. And just like with real life, when you don't want to see some somebody, there's somebody. It's Nikolai. Sorry, Nick. As much as I want you to be the next person, you're going to have to wait a hot minute. How many Let's Plays might that be? But yeah, you get... Oops, sorry. You get drunk, go to the hip, and then... Yeah. Oh, God. It might take an entire 19 episodes or 19 weeks to do this. But it do be like that sometimes. Anyways, enough looking at stuff. But yeah, then they uh, find you. Chapter 1, Samuel. Yeah, the first time we did this, um, it was, we told William, he's like, let's verify your story. Okay, it checks out. But then we need to, but, you know, we, we're not going to tell people because they would lynch you. So you're going to be a deputy for some reason. As far as I remember. And then there was that whole mystery about... You know... I love this smile. Did we get checked in on? Yeah, I'd have to assume.
And then we're trying to get back to work. I wonder if Reed is dead. No, wait, is Reed the one on the right? The rat. Because in William's root, he has his head torn off and his body is frozen? I don't know why his body is frozen. It seems a bit excessive. Just Super Saiyan. Like, I know it's a desert, but... You know. It... Uh, it usually doesn't get that cold in the desert. Unless you're talking about, I don't know, maybe a desert somewhere in the north during wintertime. Or, you know, the desert of Antarctica, I think it's called. I think it is what it is. Like, it's, a, it's an interesting thing that, you know, snowy places can be called deserts technically because it doesn't rain a lot. At least I think. So yeah, these guys are like, hey, you seem very gay. We're going to beat you up. Like you're in the south. But then we SM save him. And then oh no, what's going on? They found the body. This might be a bit shorter episode since we're I guess it's setting up for stuff. I wanted to do Nikolai first. He likes ducks, I guess. I like ducks. I think ducks are cool. They're nice little guys. I wish I could feed them bread. Maybe that's one thing I should probably do when I get back to uh, where I live. I mean, like, I'm going to be visiting my family and a, oh, other family for like a month. And it'll be a nice break from doing Let's Plays. Ah, eh, crud. I'm gonna have to censor that. Also... Let me just make sure... Okay, that is moo wooded. Okay, I did censor that in the uh, thing, because I was like... Bugger, what happens if I didn't censor that? I mean, I didn't upload it yet, but still. And he's like, well, I'm going to be investigating things because I'm the sheriff. And that is what I do. I investigate and I know things. I want to get a commission with Cynthia. Oh, but that's a list. Oh no, gunshots. Everyone's staying in the hip for the night. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna just call it here. Ooh, woo. Like, sorry, it's sure, but it's also like, well, we got uh, six minutes to, um, oops still doing stuff. Oh, we should probably also set that up too. Because it do be like that sometimes. Do we put it all the way at the end? Yeah, that's where we did that. And then there's that. I guess we need to set that stuff up. The world. Yeah. Too fast. And then we'll save that there. And there. I don't we had that there, though. So, I guess that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. Ooh, oof. And sorry that it was so short. It was just ten minutes of us being like, we're going to bathe you. And then we're going to see what's happening over there. But what are the extras? 
Oh, that. Okay, fair enough. Anyways. Uh, comment, guys, like, comments, tell me you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise, if you like my YouTube and likes it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to have it grow, and please remember to say new animals do have control of the pit population. That's something I might need to do more of. Oh. Uh, Sileo and Sugar Lane. I mean, I don't do as much visual novels as I do the other videos, because I can only do this so much. But right now, even though I'm hungover, like, it's the later part of the day, so I'm less hungover, um, I'm doing alright for some reasons. Weird. Duh. Oh yeah, and if you want to play this game, it's available for free on itch.io, but if you want to support people that read this game or get the newest version earlier, Patreon. And until next time, let's say, me, Game Wolf 6, of the Smoke Room, doing Modox Root. So thanks and see ya.